So once you're in a meeting, um, there are a few things that are pretty helpful. Um, one, you might want to take a look at your meeting details so you can see that you have um, your URL in case you want to send it to somebody after you've already created the invite and you're not really sure, share, sure how to do this. You can copy the joining information so by clicking on that and then you can just send that to anybody who wants to join your meeting. Um, you can also add attachments um, but I didn't create any for this. Um, so that's helpful. Um, you, as you can see, I've basically opened my meeting on the other side with the library and kids are getting curious about it. Um, one of the things you can also do is turn on the chat. So if I open this chat and I send a message, um, sending you a message, of course it helps to spell sending, right? Sending a message. So by posting it here, the person on the other end can see that message. I've copied that information. I wanted to send it to somebody who didn't have access to it. I could just paste it there. Um, there we go. And there's all that information. For example, if you're in a meeting with a teacher and another teacher is texting that person saying, hey, I'd really like to get in that meeting, they, you can just grab that information, stick it over in the chat. They can copy it and paste it through a text message or do a screenshot and send it to them, or take a picture and send it to them. So that's helpful. It tells you how many people are in your meeting. Obviously, it's me and New Canaan High School Library, which I've muted, so I don't have to hear what's going on in the library right now. Um, that's helpful. Um, you can also present. So now I'm going to go and click on that. And I'm going to click either my entire screen. So that would be everything that's happening in my screen. I'm going to select it and share. And so now I'm sharing with the kids in the library, or I will be in a minute, everything that's happening in my screen. So I'm going to stop presenting. And if I wanted instead to just share a window of what's in my screen, I have all these windows open. I know that's a little daunting. Um, so you could choose any one of these windows. And I'm not going to do that now. But, uh, and then over here I have a few more options. I can change the layout. I can go to full screen, I can turn on captions, I have additional settings and report a problem and go to the help button. So that's what you can do within a meeting.